hi, my name is Millie Das. I'm a clinical associate professor at Stanford University and chief of oncology at the VA in Palo Alto. So I uh, was able to review uh, five abstracts in detail, and I think that the ones that are uh, potentially most practice changing. Um, well, the first one that comes to mind is the Empower 010 trial, looking at adjuvant atezolizumab, which is a PDL1 antibody given after uh, surgery in patients with early stage resected non small cell lung cancer. We saw a significant disease free survival benefit in those patients receiving atezolizumab, uh, particularly with uh, stages two and three A disease. And I think that many of us feel that we may be getting an FDA approval for this drug in the adjuvant setting. And I think the question, of course, is which patients are most likely to benefit from adjuvant atezolizumab. Um, but I think that this uh, particular abstract has gained a lot of attention and and interest. Um, of course, there's also a lot of interest in continuing to look at immunotherapy as a potential uh, neoadjuvant treatment for our patients. In the Checkmate 816 trial, we found that the combination of nivolumab with uh, chemotherapy uh, resulted in a significantly high uh, major pathologic uh, CR rate. Um, and the big question, of course, is whether these um, high CR pathologic CR rates will translate into survival uh, benefit for our patients. So I think uh, hopefully we'll get some of that data as the years pass. And um, those are some of the more exciting um, abstracts, I think, that were reviewed today. And of course, finally, the five-year Pacific trial update um, is also important to mention because we are seeing a continued uh, survival, uh, both progression-free and overall survival benefit in those patients receiving a durvalumab at five years with um, greater than 40% of these patients remaining alive at five years um, and a third of these patients are remaining uh, without any evidence of disease. So really unprecedented survival statistics in this patient population. Um, thank you.